All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel here. So today, I just wanna bring a quick video. My new Helix 9 here from Humminbird, you can see this is the Gen 4 MSI, so Mega Side Imaging, and it's the network unit here. Um, you can see I got it hooked up with my Mega Live here. Um, and I plan to use this in the summer as well. So I got the summer transducer for the boat as well. So multi-purpose all season, but um, today I wanna bring you a video on walking through your Helix units, as well as your Mega Live, um, and going through updates from uh, from Humminbird, actually. So I think that's very important here. As I mentioned, I just got this this week, new from the store, and it's the version that's on here for software is actually already outdated. Um, I think it was like a 2.8 something for the overall operating software, and it's currently at a 2.93 from Humminbird's website. So just got it brand new to me in box and it's already outdated. So, you know, it still probably functions fine either way with the versions, but as they improve the revisions of the software, um, the functionality, it's better. You know, they work out any quirks or bugs they may find, you know, and as they go through further development um, of other devices and this device, uh, they also go through an update um, or incorporate those updates as well through their software updates. So very important you do this, even if you got a new unit, um, even if you have one that's a couple years old, always important to check their website and see if there's a latest and greatest to help improve the operation of your unit. So I just updated the nine operating software itself. So I will walk you through the Mega Live um, update itself too, which is still done through the, the head unit here. So if you go to Humminbird's website here, I'll just give you a quick flash. I'm not gonna go in detail on how you do it, but you go through their website real quick at the top. In this case, I just did my Helix 7 as well. So you want to go through, follow my tabs history here. So software updates, um, you can see I had the ICE series and then the Helix 7 model. So this is under their support tab on their main website. Let's see if this is up here. Um, so in the main site, let me first show you here what you download actually, and then I'll jump to the main site. So if you scroll down, there's a bunch of details for instructions, and then you just download this file right here, depending on which device you have. This, this applies for the Onyx, Helix, Solix, all the different models, but same concept. And what you get when you click that, you get a download file uh, onto most likely your download folder of your computer. And you can see here, I got a bunch of different ones. So I'm doing my Helix 7 today, my Ice Bundle. The nine, which is the mega side that I just talked about, and then I'll walk you through the mega live there, lastly, the 1.3 version. So they're all the .bin files. So what you have to do is copy these folders from your download or these files from your download folder and put that onto a SD card, one that is equipped with the micro SD. So you wanna be able to put that in a micro because that's what most of these newer units have. Um, so I already got that in there, as you can see. So I'll walk you through that but I'll show you on the website here how I got there quick, and then we'll do the install. So off their main site, there's this support function here, and then there's software updates. And then um, you can scroll down to your various series here. You can see your fish finders has all the different models there. So pick which one you want. And then, you know, Helix 9, for example, has all the different iterations or versions that you can pick from. So, and then based on serial number two, there's some instances here where it's serial number dependent. So based on your number, like either a before a number, after a number, make sure you, you select that um, one that matches the bottom of the label of your unit here. On the bottom, you have the serial number as well and the system device too. So that's how you get the file. You put it on the SD card and then you take it with the micro compatible one. So you want the micro SD that goes in here for the newer models. Um, you push that in and it should prompt the load here eventually, but you probably wonder why I have my uh, Mega Live transducer in the water. That's because you need, um, there's two water sensors in little, you can see the metal sensors in the bottom there. That's what detects if it's in the water, thus giving you functionality. So you probably think that's awkward, but that's why I have this sitting here. It's just a bucket full of water to actually activate and think that the unit is on there. So. Um, and this is what you get for a prompt. So you can see the current version is 1.17, looking to upgrade to the latest and greatest, which is 1.3. So again, I got this unit this week as well, brand new, um, and it's already up, outdated. So very important, yeah, you stay up to date on that if you want your units to operate the best. So 
we'll go through and we'll click yes here and then you do not want to abort so you hit no if you hit yes it'll just quit but hit no here if you want to actually execute and then it'll go through its updates so that's really all there is to it this takes a while so it probably won't walk you through completion on this but you'll get your 100 percent basically you may notice your device going through like a reboot cycle or whatever but once it's done you'll know that you'll know when it's done with the prompt and then it usually just goes back to the last screen that you had on before so as you can see this one's going to take a while so i won't bore you with the long several minute download of that but anyways if you guys have any questions on this like I said, very important to do this to stay up to date, fix all the bugs, any little issues, and they're always improving with software R&D as well with the engineering team there. So important to stay on top of that if you want it to function as best as it could. So thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions as well, too, just drop them in the comments and I'll try and answer them if you have any questions about the install. Thanks.